runs on water. What's up everybody, how's it be doing today? So right now it is 8.56, I'm leaving the house to go to work, and uh, so there's nothing too special about this morning, but uh, there might be a, a surprise in the future. Maybe not soon, but until next year. Maybe, but um, I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope it happens. But uh, let's also hope that I'm ready for it because when I was uh, when I was getting ready and I was on my bed, oh wait, no, actually this morning I woke up at, uh, somehow I woke up at three, 3.48, hold on. Okay, I keep getting random, this random number uh, calling my phone, but uh, so uh, what I was trying to say was, what I was trying to say was, this morning I woke up at 3.48, I get out, I let the dogs out, and my uh, my mom was out, because she, uh, that's what time she's out of the bedroom, getting ready for work, so, uh, so what happened was, when I um, went back to bed and everything, I... I was on Facebook Market and I found this house that I had, that I liked and then I was looking through the pictures and then I fell into infatuation with it and then the more I kept looking at the photos the more I loved it so now I love it so good thing about that is it's about 10 miles away from this house that I live in now and it's on nine acres on a hill and I can take Autumn home. And I can have my own property, and just whatever. But it's rent, which I'm not, I don't care about, as long as the landlord doesn't sell it um, while I'm living there. It's like what happened to my family like 10, over 10 years ago. But anyways, um, it's just hope. Well, I did the finance. I did a bunch of financing, see how much cost of living would be, and it, it's expensive. So now I know why it's so hard. Life is so hard. Uh, living on your own, because you got rent, you got PG&E, you got gas, you got food, you got just a bunch of other things, car insurance, fuel, this and that. And um, so um, I hope I, I hope to move in there and stay successful and not uh, go in debt uh, living there. But uh, so we'll see in the future. So now I'm gonna go to work and I see that it's eight o'clock. Now, Efron and I are leaving work. We, um, it's a little later than usual, but it's fine. We're out of here now. So we were trying to finish before, uh, two things. The Elk Grove trucks came because, um, when I'm done fueling and there are more trucks out, I apply, well, I have a 10 minute rule. And Miz, my boss, and Efron actually agree with it. And so my 10 minute rule is if I finish everybody, put the fuel truck away, wrap the hose, everything. And if I wait 10 minutes and they aren't back yet, I'm, out, I'm going home. So that's my 10 minute rule. So we were going to apply the 10 minute rule to the Reno people, but there were, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had seven more things to do and the Reno people came in. And so we were trying to get them done and get them done and uh, try to finish before 10 because at our 10th hour, we're supposed to take a second lunch. So we we're uh, supposed to take another half an hour. 
we were trying to finish before that. So we actually finished on the dot. Well, actually, not actually on the dot, but uh, four minutes after. So I just donated some time saying that I finished one minute before um, my 10th hour. So uh, now I'm going to go and see you there. Check it out. Runs on water. Water. You ever see anything like that? So again, I'm Slip the channel, so thank you for the vlogger here. So thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe to my vlog. So again, have a good day. Goodbye.